Hey there peeps, Mimi here and welcome back to Danmachi Memoria Freeze and welcome back to another one of my guides. And today we are going to be talking about farming. Yes, farming. Because there is a lot of farming in this game. <laughs> There's a lot of farming. Um, actually, almost everything requires farming. And there's farming irises, farming bodies, farming bombers, farming exilia books, farming items in details, and farming things in just playing missions. So let's start from the top. So irises. Irises is the premium currency in this game. You can see them on the top of my screen. There are, I have 5,400 right now. You can either buy them if you if you want to use your monies, you can buy them from here. Choo, choo, choo. You know, there's from ninety nine cents to seventy nine dollars and ninety nine cents, which is one way of getting irises. It's a very acceptable way of getting irises. You know, if you have money and want to spend your money on this game to help the developers, it is a good thing. If you want to spend money and have the means to spend money, um, personally, if I enjoy a game so much that I'm playing for an entire month plus, I definitely do consider spending money in a game because I want to support the developer. And if I support them, they're going to continue this awesome game for me and for all of us. <laughs> but yes, that's one way of getting irises. Another way is by completing missions and storyline. So for example, um, currently I've been working my way through Belle's story to get some more story, uh, some more of the storyline completed. So. I basically everywhere that I haven't like fully, you know, completed, I've been going through and getting that. So one way is, you know, coming in, doing the missions, and also you can always see what rewards you have. So this one would give me three large books, three of the, you know, large bonus, three of the other large bonus, same here. And generally the last mission, which, you know, is up there, um, I also underestimated how far I can go without, you know, getting cut off. That um, gave me irises. So you can get irises by completing different missions. Also, low key, in order to get um, irises, um, let's actually, yeah, I think I can do it with a setup. So every time that you complete a mission for the first time, you get irises for completing. When other games try to, you know, get up in on a video, <laughs> notifications. So, by completing missions, you are able to get irises just for the first clear, and also for us clearing the quest. Um, as we all know, missions have three, have three sets. Uh, so, actually, almost done with this one. And so, you can't. This doesn't only include. For story missions, this is also true for tail missions, this is true for the CP interact missions, any quest out there. So you get three irises for playing this for the first time. You get one iris for doing it as clear. This is your as clear reward and that means for each quest you play once, you get three plus one, you get four irises for that S clear total. So every mission, there's four irises hiding in there. There's 19, no, there's 20, there's 29 episodes for Belle, all ranging between four to sometimes seven quests inside them. So there's a lot of irises hiding in there. A lot of hiding, you know, because actually those 5,400 are all free irises right now which have been getting from the event, from playing, you know, story missions, they're all hiding in there. So you can definitely farm irises by playing. Also, one thing that, you know, I think it's very important that when you look at this, um, when you're completing these, you can sometimes get hero faunas in here, um, potato snacks. Potato snacks are very important. They allow you to restore your stamina. You also have to be very strategic about how you use that, uh, those potato snacks because I use them for, t you know, time limited events, such as farming fauna, um, using them in tail because you'll sometimes only have like a week or two to complete them all and you, you need to like go through them a little faster sometimes, especially if you want to like 
really complete things like really fast like I do sometimes. Um, that's, you know, a user, you know, for those potato snacks. But as we were talking, that is how you farm irises. By playing. A lot. Also, you can get irises by completing some of the different types of um, event content, such as war games, such as Record Buster. They're all out there. Um, they're very important. Also, you get like 10 free irises a day by completing daily missions, uh, which those include... They include completing one episode, completing um, boost level or a status board. You can, you know, also talk to three characters, complete a fauna and an Celia quest. And if you complete all five of those that I just mentioned, you'll get 10 irises every single day. Also, you can get irises for just doing things in the game. Ranking up your units to six stars, limit breaking them, taking them to 60, um, by leveling up, lo um, let's see, clearing episodes, you get uh, fondness. You get them for increasing your CP with your characters, as we talked about yesterday, um, well, yesterday's video. And so there is so many irises out there that you can get for just completing different things in this game. It is amazing. And there's also some, you know, irises you can get uh, from time limited quests, uh, such as the Arena Travelers, which I can't complete. And actually, I could complete it if I could revive, but then that's using 10 irises to get 10 irises, which just kind of cancels out tomato tomato at that point but it wouldn't be an as clear so yeah um doing a record buster um event every day you get 10 irises crafting things you can get irises there's so many irises in this game that you can get it is amazing okay so that's irises we've talked about buying them talking about farm them now let's talk about farming everything else so let's talk about the, the the biggest elephant in the in, in the room. Valleys. Valleys. There you get one of these orbs, um you, uh, it the one on the left side. That orb you get one a day. The second one that one says thirty four, you can get those through the events, so you can unlock a quest for thir uh, for an hour. If I were to unlock it will use my my Vali's orb and unlocks all of Vali's missions for 60 minutes. And so I will be able to do this mission for 60 minutes straight and farm and farm farm Vali's. So that's one way that's a way unfortunately the best way to farm Vali's. And I say unfortunately because you get about 30 to 60 thousand Vali's every single time you do it. And I say unfortunately, because that's not a lot. Um, I do think that they need to buff up the, um, this quest because 60, you know, 60 on a good run is not a great thing. Because uh, for limit breaking units, sometimes you need over 100. You, you know, I had 2,500, uh, 2.5 million valises earlier today. And I just spent 500 like nothing upgrading one unit. It goes it goes by really fast. So the fire mollies you can do here. You can also squeeze out some mollies through um, completing um, rampage mode. You get um, about seventy thousand every time you complete a, a stage, not like a mission slash quest, but like a block. So when you finish a, a, a floor block, you are able to get some um, mollies from that from the uh, limited time mission. So. There's some irises, in, I mean, some mollies in there, but not that much to make an entire big, huge difference. But this is how you farm um, valises. Hopefully, they buff them up. You can find some uh, valises hidden inside other quests, but once you get those, the best way to uh, farm valises is this quest, which takes a lot of stamina when the very hard mission costs 24 stamina. You know, having like a half stamina day would be really nice or even like yeah half stamina would be amazing 
half stamina or even if they buffed up how much valley they this uh, this gave back because i can only run this quest four um four times without having to like refresh my stamina so that's not a lot that's really not that's twenty four thousand volleys without refreshing stamina that's not a lot exilia books so exilia books these books uh you use them to level up your units you can farm them in normal hard and very hard in normal mode you can only get the small books in hard you'll get some small books and medium books and in very hard you can get all three um, and sometimes I range from getting two large to six large so it also depends on your RNG it is not an assured thing but it is the best way to farm um, Exilia books also low-key while this Kino event is still here actually whenever this video comes out the, that Kino event won't be here but um, sometimes in tail events, uh, they are doing gotchas, which are um, that you can pull from using the currency of the the event. So, for example, um, currently in this tail quest, we have three different types of event items which you can cash in. Um, I can actually cash in some of those um, items for volleys, which is actually what I'm going to do after I buy this one random hero fauna. I'm hesitant on that fauna because I mean I could get the fauna or I could get money but you know the fauna is more it's more appealing um, but the money does you know it, it adds up actually let, let's just let's see how this goes um, so and let me grab my calculator so for the 21,000 and actually this one's really easy. There's 2100. Uh, so I've farmed a lot. A lot. A lot. And actually there's a limit to how much I can get. So I'm going to get 210,000 volleys from that. And for the 200 volleys, oops, I was trying to click on my screen, but that, that obviously didn't work. So we have 964 um, of the current of the item and times 200. That is 192,000 valises. So we'll exchange them. And then finally, oh, for this one, um, I'm going to get the hero fauna. Because money, slowly but surely, I'll get it. Oh, I could actually get six. There's 16 in there. Ooh. I'm going to exchange it. So we got... Really? Is there a lot? Oh, the stock was my stock. That makes more sense. There was only one hero fun in there. There was only one hero fun in the event. I just... I, I just currently have 16. So, now for the 300 one, I have 232. I mean 33. Times the 300, we'll get 69,000. And I got less than 500,000. Less than 500,000, which technically is two stamina's worth of farming that event. Um, <laughs> so, again, for the volleys um, statements. And, okay, so what I was talking about, um, about the books, that you can sometimes get them, and also this includes fallness as well. In, the, um, in some of the tele-events, there is a different currency you can pull. Um, like this is this little Kino medal and based on how many medals you get you can pull from a gotcha and you can get books and fallness um, of all three levels in here and so it is a sort of way to farm them but not really because the odds of getting them are sometimes low or you'll get some of the small faunas instead of the large ones because as you can see even at this stage it's 6.2% uh, of getting the small one versus 1.7 of the medium and 0.73 of the large one um, and the books you know there's five percent to get a large one and 10 and 25 percent to get a small one that's why i ended up with a lot of small books but like for example if you pull from these things i just got a medium book and two small books and several little bonus and they, they add up and you can 
pull from this as much as you want, as much as you have coins for them. I got a large book in there, so that's awesome, and see, I got a lot of books there. Um, but these tail events aren't, aren't always around, so it's important to to know that, you know, this, this time is for farming, but that's why I farm this event more than anything else, because I know I can get books and faunas out of it, so that's kind of where my my priority has been. But, you know, in the Xelia books, in the large one, um, in the very hard, you can get all of the books, RNG, and how many you get of each. Finally, the thing that is near and dear to my heart, Faunus. Faunus. So, you can check out how many Faunus you have, and you can unlock quests when they're not available using those orbs um, that are there. Today I can't do that because today is Sunday, so on Sundays they are all unlocked for you to use. It's a great and beautiful day to farm them. And you can check out how many farms you have of each in one place, which I really like that they do this instead of me having to look for my inventory to be able to find that. I, I really like this. And you can see that I, I'm kind of low on some of these, so these are the ones that I'm going to be focusing on today. I like to end my week um, with at least 100 of each. Um, I might try to do a little bit more this week instead of than usual, just because um, I'll be trying to stream on Sunday. On Sundays, I'll try to stream a little bit, um, at least my farming of faunas, and I currently have 17 hero faunas. So, something that you'll notice, and actually, I have to read what they say because it is so sassy, and I love sassiness sometimes. Fauna list. Faunas for status improvements can be earned from fauna quests. Okay, we, we know that much. Hero faunas drop rate is very low. Good luck! <laughs> they know, they know, they know we want them and they're, you know, they're, they're rare. They're very rare. And um, if you do the very hard quest, maybe one in five you'll get um, a hero fauna. But on, um, they do give us a special key every Tuesday. Um, so we have these little charms called Hero Charms. They increase the odds of receiving a Hero Fauna for 30 minutes. And they'll be distributed every Tuesday, like I said. So we're not going to use this. But for 30 minutes, your odds of getting Hero Fauna increases. Sometimes during these 30 minutes, I've gotten eight um, Hero Fauna. So that's actually pretty good. Especially because they are slightly rare. Um, also know that if you go into it knowing that you're going to do the 30 minutes, be ready to use your potatoes. Like, that is one of the moments that I think potatoes are definitely worth using. A lot with whenever you're farming quests, um, farming the event quests. Um, if you're just trying to rush through at the beginning. Once you complete everything, there's no reason to use your potatoes restoring for, for that event. Once you can complete it. Um, it, it's nice to get, you know, additional items to get more volleys or other things that are in the shop. Um, like, you know, getting that hero fauna that was just hanging out there. So, yes, in that moment, definitely use your key. Definitely use potatoes to farm. And the normal quest gives you only of the little ones. And the hard gives you both the little ones and the medium ones. And very hard only gives you medium and large. I haven't been getting small ones in these large ones, so that's very important to know. And that pretty much wraps up all the things that we have to farm. So irises, um, either buying or or farming through just play gameplay. There's so many out there or playing the events. Um, volleys, it's our money currency, it's what we need to upgrade our units. It's very important and goes by really fast. And then there is uh, the faunas. Uh, uh, you can uh, farm, uh, there's two of them available every day of the week, but on Sundays, all of them are available. And um, there's other things, um, there's one other category of things that you can farm, um, which would be materials uh, for uh, blacksmith, which will be talked in tomorrow's video uh, when I talk about crafting. Um, but that has been uh, just going over all the things that you can farm in this game to help you 
um, improve your characters, allow you to get more characters because, you know, irises. And I, I think that, 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 that pretty much covers it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if I forgot anything. Let me know if you want to learn anything else about Danmachi. And thank you so very much for watching. Yeah, to me.